Hi you guys, I'm glad you made it back. But if this is your first time here, I want to welcome you to my GMC do-it-yourself repair channel. In my channel here, you'll see I have tons of videos that I'm sure that I have something in here that'll interest you. It doesn't take a lot of experience or knowledge and doesn't take a lot of tools. And one thing for sure, you're gonna save tons of money. So before you go to a mechanic or the dealership, click on the upper right hand corner there and explore my channel. I'm sure I have something in there that's gonna save you some money. But before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This really helps my channel. And by the way, hit that bell and leave a comment. And believe it or not, if you leave a comment, I respond back to you. Yeah, I know, I don't have a life, so I have nothing else better to do. Hi, you guys, welcome back. Well, today I wanted to talk to you about your power folding mirrors. There were some things that I found out about these mirrors that I wanted to share with you. But before I start, I wanted to remind you that I do have two other mirror repair videos that you also may want to check out after watching this video. Just go ahead and click on the upper right hand corner and it will take you there. Anyway, as I was working on my last folding mirror repair video, I surreptitiously found a feature that was turned off. It's called Outside Curb View Assist Mirrors. It's a really cool feature and mine was turned off. So I was thinking maybe there's somebody else like me that has theirs turned off. It's really convenient. It doesn't require any tools and it's really easy to turn on. So what does Outside Curb View Mirror Assist do? Well, what it does, it automatically adjusts your mirrors so as you're backing up to park, you're able to see the curb so you don't run into the curb. So it helps prevents you from giving your rims curb rash. Okay, in order to set these mirrors, I'm gonna use this bucket, and the bucket's gonna simulate a curb. I'm gonna set the bucket away from the car, about the distance away from the car to the curb. We're just simulating a curb here. Okay, let's go in the vehicle now. Okay, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put your parking brake on. We don't want the vehicle to move as we're going through the gears. And go ahead and start your car up. Step on your brake pedal and put your vehicle in reverse. We're gonna to go to your driver's information center. Now on the bottom right side of your steering wheel, you're gonna see two buttons. You're gonna press the top button. That top button is called a customization button. The bottom one is called a select button. We're gonna be working with these two buttons. Now, if you notice, when you hit the customization button and scroll through it, you're gonna go through all these settings. Keep pressing the button until you find curb view. There it is. See, mine was off. Now we're gonna press the lower select button. And what that's gonna do is give us some choices for curb view. I'm going to set mine to passenger. You're going to have four choices. Passenger, driver, or both, or off. Next, you're going to turn on your passenger mirror. Toggle it to the passenger side. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to adjust the passenger side mirror until you see the bucket. Remember, the bucket is where you're simulating a curb. Once you have it adjusted down like the way you like, go ahead and put it into drive or park. In about three seconds, the mirrors are gonna to move to the normal position. Now go ahead and put it in reverse. The mirrors will remember where you had it before in reverse. Now you'll see your curb or the bucket and that's all you have to do. The vehicle will remember where you want the mirrors when you put it in reverse. That way, as you're backing up, you can see the curb. Isn't that cool? Once you're done, put it in park, turn off your vehicle, and you're good to go. See how easy that was? Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was very informative. Please check out my other how-to videos. Oh, and check out my new website. There's new items being put in there every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course, hit the bell. Until then, we'll see you at my next video. Bye.